Hey YouTube, it's your boy G Miles. Today we're back with another video since you know it's still morning. Oh yeah, today we're gonna be doing bread from scratch, so check it out. And plus, here is the ingredients I for that recipe since you know I gotta measure out the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Bread from sc scratch. Yeah, I got the instant need just I ate that way so on overwork myself and stuff, so yeah. So that's better. Yep, bread from scratch. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get the ingredients measured out. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your ingredients all set up, well, the dry ingredients, but what you need to do first is just add, oh yeah, three cups of flour, maybe. Yeah, just three cups of flour. That's two cups. Now, so that's three cups, which is the last thing I need to do and stuff. So yeah. Okay, once you add it, I need three cups of all-purpose flour. All you need to do now is just add the instant yeast. Yeah, you gotta make sure you gotta add all of the instant yeast or else it's gonna it's not gonna rise properly the dough and stuff. So yeah. Once you added the instant yeast, all you gotta do is just add you a one teaspoon of sugar. In a half teaspoon of salt and stuff. So, yeah. Hey, guys, I'm back. So, once you added the, I get the dry ingredients. Oh, yeah, all I got to do now just, I mix it all in until that stuff is combined with the yeast. You got to make sure you got to stir it all in. Or else it's not, it's not going to rise properly and stuff. So, yeah. Just be clear of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just stir it up. And bam, that's all you gotta do and stuff. So yeah. Shake this around. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, you want you to stir it all in? All you gotta do now is just add the dry I mean the wet ingredients. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I added the wet ingredients, which is the last thing I need to do to do. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you mix in the dry ingredients, but what but what we got now is the wet ingredients that we gotta add and stuff. So yeah. But what you need to do, just add you a half a cup of lukewarm water. Okay, once you add the I add the a little uh, lukewarm water, all you gotta do just add you two I add teaspoons of canola oil. That's all I take the yeah, it's one a teaspoon. And that's two. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you added the wet ingredients, but but what you're gonna do now, just mix that stuff in until it turns into complete dough. Yep, yeah, gotta make sure you gotta mix the stuff in. Like properly. Yeah, you can tell that the stuff. That you mix in the wet ingredients, it's gonna turn into complete dough. Mm -hmm. Hope I make sure this stuff right, or else it won't come out right. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it always it takes and stuff, so yeah. Since my senses aren't very good and stuff, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And <clears throat> I'm gonna keep you updated once it gets situated with the dough. <clears throat> hey guys, I'm back. Oh yeah, since you're gonna want you to take care, took care of your dough and, and, and tell that is full, like fully dried up. So what you're gonna do now, just, just to make it a little moist, just add some more warm water. And just to make it loose. Yeah, that's all it takes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if your dough's all, all dried up and stuff. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Just, I could just add a little more uh, of this little warm water and stuff. So yeah, cause I gotta do since you know that stuff is finally I turning loose and stuff. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I get the stuff turned into a dough. Hey guys, I'm back. I you can tell that I finally I decided to add another cup of blue warm water, and that's what you get. It's a nice. 
good looking dog and stuff. So yeah, since you know I got a need and stuff. So yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get the flower out. Since you know I gotta move, move this bar out the way so I can put this on the flower. I mean on the service area on the counter and stuff. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once you get started. Hey guys, I'm back. So why don't you got your bud out the way? Hey, I need just spring you yeah, I get some flour. Since then I'm, I'm gonna use some much. Okay, once you add a couple things of flour, I do just merge it around. Okay, once you ice merge your flour into that surface area, all you need to do just get your dough out since you know it's a little sticky and stuff. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated once you get started to uh, to knead the dough and stuff. So yeah, so stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your flour on this yeah, on the flour surface area, what you need to do just start kneading your dough and stuff. So yeah, just knead your dough for like a bunch of times until it's like completely completely soft and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just keep kneading your dough until it turns into a complete ball and a little soft and stuff. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get the dough needed into a ball. <clears throat> hey guys, I'm back. So once you need your dough, hey, you can tell that the oh, your dough is needed into a ball and stuff. So yeah, and that's what we're looking for is to have that dough needed into a ball and stuff. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once you got your dough needed, all you need to do just get your plate right here. I'm gonna set this dog up side and stuff so yeah and i'm gonna keep you updated once i get it clean or something like that hey guys i'm back so once you got your bow clean but well, what you gonna do now just oh yeah pour a little oil on there okay once you put it pour a little oil on there all you gotta do just smush it around that way so the dot oh yeah so it'll help the dough oh yeah rise and puff up and stuff so yeah that's what it takes is a cardio work and stuff. So yeah. Okay, once you got your I bowl I oil oiled up, all you need to do just get your dog out. And and do the same thing, just smirch it around with oil and stuff. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep it updated once I get the dog oiled up. Hey guys, some back. So once you got your I your dose, I your submerge in oil and stuff. So yeah, but what you're gonna do, since you know we're gonna rise the dough for like an hour or so, so yeah, all you gotta do just get your towel, which is a clean one, and then and then put it all over the bowl and stuff, so yeah, and there we go. That's how you do it and stuff, so yeah. But what I'm gonna do now, just wait for an hour, since you know the dough is gonna rise for like an hour and stuff, so yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once the dog is rise I for an hour or so. Hey guys, I'm back. So it's been like around a and a half an hour since we know the moment true. Since we know we're gonna check on the dog, see if it rise. And bam! And hey, see what I tell you? Let's see it. Let's see. So the dog has finally rise and stuff. So yeah. But what we're, we're going to do now, after you'll see it's been risen for like an hour, just punch it to make sure any any gas doesn't doesn't get near the bread and stuff. So, yeah. Yep, check it out. Mm-hmm. Yep. But, we're, but what we're going to do now, just, we you know, knead the, dough, knead the dough a little and put this onto a little pan and stuff. So, yeah. And I'm going to keep you updated once we get started. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your bowl out of the way, bowl the dog out of the way, all you gotta do, just do the same thing. Just add a little flour. Since you don't wanna, don't wanna add too much. Once you add your flour, all you gotta do, just smush around at the same time. That way so it can help the dough rise a little better. Since you know, I'm gonna let it rest for like another hour or so. So yeah. 
okay, once you got your dough against the surf slider, all you gotta do is just play with it for a few times to the soya, and I'm gonna keep you updated once you get started. Hey guys, I'm back. So let's see, once you got your dough into the into the flower service area, but what you're gonna do now, just smush it around. Again, make sure you get all this stuff into the flour. Go get that flour into the dough and stuff. So yeah. Since you know, I'm kind of playing with it. Since we know it's gonna help rise that dough for the second time and stuff. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I'm done. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your I get flour into the dough, all you gotta do just all you roll it up into a loaf of bread. Once you did that, all you gotta do is just smush it around like this, get some edges on there, and just make sure. But I don't know what I'm doing, but gotta get it done. This so, episode, yeah. Once you did that, all you gotta do is just turn it around and do this. Since you know, I hope I did everything right and stuff, so yeah. But I'm just fi yeah, fixing the dough so it can help maintain the loaf of bread and stuff. So, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. And I'm going to keep you updated once I do some work on that bread. Hey, guys. I'm back. So, <clears throat> once you got your, your dough into loaf of bread consistency, all you got to do is just press it around just a little. That way, so... It can make a perfect loaf of, of bread and stuff. So yeah, I'm just measuring out just to make sure. And make sure you take your take care of the sides first. That way so it won't mess up and stuff. So yeah. But it's alright though. This have to be perfect and all that stuff. So yeah. Just a little. And bam. That's how you create a loaf of bread and stuff. So yeah. And I'm going to keep you updated once I get the low pan out so I can oil it. Hey, guys, I'm back. So once you got your low pan out, all you got to do is just pour a little oil on there. Okay, once you pour a little oil on there, all you need to do, you need to do just all you smudge at the edges of the low pan. To make sure the, that the bread doesn't stick or nothing. Yeah, that's all it takes and stuff. So, yeah. And bam, once you did that. And I'm going to keep you updated once I get the loaf of dough out. <clears throat> hey, guys, I'm back. All you want, once you, when you know, oil your loaf pan, all you do just get you a dough that is shaped like a loaf. All you do just you know, keep on are you pressing on, pressing it on the sides and stuff. So yeah, that way so it can move better. And but plus, are you try are you putting a little oil on there so it can help the dough rise better and stuff. So yeah, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Gotta make sure. That, mm -hmm. Yep. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get the towel out. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you re reach your, when you know, your loaf pan and oil your, your dough that is shaped like a loaf, all you gotta do just get you the, the same towel and then put it all over the, all your loaf pan that is a contained with the dough and stuff. So yeah, and boom, I'm gonna do just let, you let this rest for like, yeah, for like 20, or 45 minutes just depends and stuff so yeah and I'm gonna keep you updated once the I had the dough gets rising again for the second time hey guys I'm back so oh yeah once the I dog is it is resting for like 20 to 45 minutes just depends and all this stuff but what we do do now just peak preheat our oven to 350 yeah, 350. Okay, 
okay once you pre uh, your oven to 350. But it turns itself on and stuff, so yeah. Okay, once you've got your oven preheated to 350, all I'm going to do now, just wait and see and stuff. So yeah, and I'm going to keep you updated once I check on the dough. Hey guys, I'm back. So the dough has been resting for like an hour or something like that. So the moment of truth, which is the last time. In three, two, one. Voila! I hear, there we go. It looks like the like the dog has been rising for the second time, which is the last time and stuff. So yeah, check it out. Mm hmm. Yep. But all I'm gonna do now, just we know, I put this, oh yeah, put this thing in the oven, which is the dog, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I get to the oven again. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got to the oven, all you gotta do now, just get the loaf of loaf pan of dog out. Okay, we'll see. Okay, once you got your dough in, all you, all you gotta make sure you gotta put uh, put this thing in the oven or else it's gonna cook. So, yeah, okay, once you got your, are uh, you paying the dough? I'll see into the oven. All you gotta do just close it and let it cook for like, oh yeah, 20 to 40 minutes or something like that. So, yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated once the bread is, is cooking. Well, the bread is, uh, the bread is fully cooked. Hey guys, I'm back. So it's been oh yeah, like 40 minutes or something like that. So let's check on the bread. And bam, you tell that the bread is done. All I'm gonna do now, just put this on top of the stove. I right, turn it off and stuff. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I show you the bread. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your bread out and but ta da, that's how you do homemade bread and stuff. So yeah, but oh yeah, but what we're gonna do now? Just let it let it cool off for a bit, and plus I'm gonna add some butter on there and stuff. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated once the bread is cooling off. Since we know I gotta add the butter. Hey guys, I'm back. So once your bread is cooling off for a bit, oh yeah, do just add a butter, little things of butter. Mm-hmm. Yep, once you added the butter. Oh, there's some left. Oh, yeah, you just smush it around. Yep, it's all you do, just smush around until all this stuff is moist and stuff. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I might put the bread back in the oven or something like that. So yeah, I'm gonna keep you updated. Hey guys, some back, so <clears throat> Oh, yeah, once your bread is, is cooling off for a bit, oh, yeah, with the butter right after you put it on. But what we're going to do now, just not, not let it oh, yeah, put in the oven and stuff. So, yeah. And I'm going to keep you updated once it gets to the cutting board. Hey, guys, I'm back. So, once you got to the cutting board, all y'all do now, just get the loaf of bread out. And boom, hey, there you have it. A loaf of bread that is, that is well done and stuff. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I cut it. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your bread out, I get to the cutting board. All you gotta do now, just you can cut the bread and see how it goes. Yep, and see how it goes. And bam, check it out. The bread, oh yeah, the bread is finally done and stuff, so yeah. Just cut it into into it. And voila, there you have it. Some nice, good looking bread that is well done and stuff, so yeah. And I'm going to keep you updated once I get a plate out. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your bread cut, oh yeah, cut into, into slices, all I'm gonna do now just a hey, taste test the bread I gotta make in three, two, one. Mm. 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 
Man, that's some good bread. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get through my bread. Hey guys, I'm back. So the bread that I had is super good. So check it out. Mm -mm -mm. Nice bread. That's got a soft and good. So so yeah. And plus, check out the rest of the bread. Since I, since you know, it's it's nice and looking good like regular bread. Just I use it like for sandwiches. Since you know, it's not like the sandwich that is made with loaves. So eat it whatever whatever you want or something like that and stuff. So yeah. Good looking bread, so yeah. And that's a wrap on making bread bread from scratch and stuff. So yeah, and plus that video is gonna go up for like a couple of days or something like that. So yeah, way too. If you're new to this channel, please give a like, share, and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell if you get a chance. So yeah, way too. Hope you enjoyed this video. And it's been your boy G Miles. Peace out.